What is up everybody? My name is Rishabh Bojha and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video is going to be about my new action camera which is DJI Osmo Action. Let's get the video started. I want to get you one more time. I really want to cross the line. I do it all before I die. I want to get it on tonight. I want to get you one more time. I really want to cross the line. All right. Okay, so in this video we are going to be talking about DJI's latest action camera which is DJI Osmo Action. But before we get to that, let's just quickly unbox it. Now this camera can record 4K at 60 frames per second, which also means you can use it for time lapse, slow motion and a whole bunch of other things. It costed me around 22,700 Indian rupees on amazon.in and I'll be linking the product in the description box below so you can check it out. In the box you will get a user manual, a 1300mAh battery, a flat and a curved base mounting plate, one quick release base plate for camera, one USB type C cable and a locking screw. In this video we are going to be using it for a short vlog and to set up your camera you will need to download DJI MIMO app and connecting didn't make much time for me. हेलो हाँ हाँ आ रहा हूँ आ रहा हूँ आ रहा हूँ आ रहा हूँ ओके सो पीपल हु डोंट नो इफ यू हैव जस्ट बॉड अ सोनी कैमरा देन यू विल गेट अ फ्री स्क्रीन प्रोटेक्टर बैक स्क्रीन प्रोटेक्टर व्हिच इज वर्थ थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीस एंड आई गोट टू ऑफ दिस बिकॉज़ सोनी मेड अ मिस्टेक सो थैंक यू सोनी आई हैव यू नाउ वी आर गोइंग we are going to Jalandhar and I'm going to be vlogging from this camera and I'm going to be vlogging without any external microphone. So the audio that you hear is without any external microphone and uh, this is it. I'm not carrying my big bulky Sony A6400. And I'm going to be super duper late vlogging from this. Where are you? Let's go. I don't wanna waste time. I remember tonight I found something here with you. Wait up for me, I'd go anywhere that you do. Put it all out in the open. Now we don't have to control it. Put it all out in the open. So we're going to Camp Pagoda Airport. It's very warm in Bangalore. If it's only for a moment, it's a lifetime of emotion. Put it all out in the open. और ये हम आगे हैं लॉन्च एक्सेस सीट्स नहीं है यहाँ पे फुल है लॉन्च कहाँ मिले बैठ जाएं और हमारी फ्लाइट है आधे घंटे में uh, this is the first time I'm coming to some launch, but yeah, then it is really, really good. What is it? Oh, it's a little bit I just landed in Chandigarh, it was a 3 hour flight, 3 hour long flight, so that's it. Yeah, so that's why we are going to have some tea. Yeah. And it's uh, Chai OK Beans. And waiting for a cab. Man, Chandigarh airport has come up so well, was not expecting this good. When I can't decide and the fear leaves me blind, you always will lead me through. If you need me at the wrong time, throw it all out by the wayside. There's nothing that I wouldn't do. Right, guys, and today is Lady Sangeet. Lady Sangeet, I mean Sangeet, DJ night, whatever you call it. And tomorrow is the main shadi. Shooting this right now, currently on 2.7K at 60 frames per second. And uh, it's 6 o'clock right now and reached Jalandhar safely. 
So this is the room. I'll quickly give you a room tour. Drawing room, bedroom. And washroom. Put it all out in the open. No, we don't have to control it. Put it all out in the open. If it's only for a moment, it's a lifetime of emotions. Put it all out in the open. Back to Chandigarh, and we have Shivam with us. Shivam, what do you think of this small camera that I'm carrying? It was just there. अच्छा लग रहा है. मस्त है ना? छोटा था. कोई देखता भी नहीं है. कोई vlog पे जाने वाला है. मस्त है. ये YouTube पे जाएगा वैसे? हाँ. और हम लोग आए हैं गोपाल. एक गोपाल? एक गोपाल? एक गोपाल? Bangalore. Thank you, Shivam. Thank you, Shivam. They told me that I'm going to get married. Go on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, bro. Leaving. I'm leaving Rishabh, going to Delhi, and from Delhi, I'll be going to Pune, back, and he will be going to Bengaluru, and we'll be meeting soon. ज़्यादा नहीं हो रहा ये। All right, see you. Bye. Bye. Adios. See ya. ऐसा ऐसा लग रहा है कि बस बोर्ड कर रहे हैं। सब लोग इधर से उधर उधर से इधर। So this is the next day. It got really late last night, and uh, my flight was also delayed. So, uh, anyways, making this right now. So I'm gonna just quickly throw uh, what I liked about this camera and I, what I did not like. Number one thing that I liked was the ease of use. I thought it was really easy to use this camera. The interface is really really friendly, and uh, the setup almost took four to five minutes. And after that. It did not take me much time to understand the UI. It was really, really user friendly. So number one, ease of use. Number two, the build quality. I mean, look at it. Build quality is solid. Uh, I love the material, rubberized material that they have used uh, all around the camera to actually have a good grip. And it is heavy. This may seem like a very small camera, but it has a bit of a weight to it. So the build quality 10 on 10. Uh, number three is dual screen. Uh, the dual screen actually helped me a lot, especially the front screen. Uh, it helped me to frame my video and I knew all the time that I was in the frame or not. The front screen actually makes a lot of difference and I really, really liked it. So dual screen is number three. Number four is the famous rock steady mode. Now rock steady was you, you could see in the video that I was dancing and jumping around during the video and the images that came out of was completely stabilized. And the fifth thing is this large screen. Uh, really liked it. Uh, so these are things that I like. Cons would be that there is no HDR mode in photo. You can shoot a HDR video but not a photo. 
so dji you have to give us a sdr photo mode also not that i'm taking photos from these uh, my mobile phone is actually way better than this uh, but then hdr is there in gopro and i think it should be implemented in this camera also the second con you cannot use hdr and rocksteady together so that completely defeats the purpose of having a hdr video because the images that will come out will not have rocksteady and it will be not stabilized so uh, but that is it i have actually really uh, done nitpicking on uh, the cons i could not find any and this seems like a very complete action camera and a companion for you i'm going to be using this camera on places where i cannot take this uh, bulky bigger a6400 so the big question is that whether you should buy it or not uh, if you are looking for a cheaper option than GoPro because GoPro 8 is really really expensive then the next best product after GoPro 8 would be DJI's first action camera Osmo Action. Go for it. Alright guys so this is it. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and wherever you are uh, wash your hands for minimum 20 seconds and follow the WHO guidelines and take care of yourselves. Peace.